Hi, Darshna. I'm Chandni from the New Indian Express. Hi, Chandni. Okay, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. So, your upcoming film, Purusha Pradam. Um, I watched the trailer. It's quirky, it's witty, and it's quite dark also. So, what do you have to tell about it? Yeah, it's all of that. Uh, it's, uh, I think, and exactly uh, the things that I was excited about when I got into it. It's a uh, uh, crime noirish uh, dark comedy of sorts. Uh, you know, a, a police procedural, but like with a lot of humor. Um, so it's yeah, it's all of like I think the first uh, when I first heard it, it was just all of these really dark, uh, gory. Uh, you know, like there's death and dead body and all of these things, but how it reaches us is uh, through it, it, through a very entertaining, um, you know, like a, through humor. So I think uh, it was very easy for me to enter into that world. I like such things. So, yeah. Right. And uh, does it also talk about toxic masculinity? Um, yes, next yes. It does. I mean, I think that there are a lot of tracks that it's uh, sort of uh, not not very uh, loudly following, but it's there. And um, I mean, I think once you watch the film, you'll see, you'll notice uh, many small, many many small things, uh, or like um, it. You can you can watch it in two ways, I guess. I mean, or people would take it in two ways. For people who are um, going to see the film and watch it for all of these layers. There's that, like I think there's uh, uh, the the, the po politics of the film is sort of uh, running through and through. Uh, but for people who pr don't connect with all of that, it is also just a very entertaining, funny uh, film. Uh, so I feel like uh, there is something for everyone. There's something that uh, like I, I, we watched the film yesterday, a little a bunch of us, and uh, uh, you know, like I think for my mother. Uh, the way she consumed the film and the way I consumed the film is very different, but it was entertaining nonetheless for for both of us. Now, something we've taken back from the film. So I think uh, I, I think the, the, this idea of I, I love that even with Avas of uh, more this I think one of the things that Krishan, um, from what I understand, uh, he's looking to do is talk of these things, uh, but make it approachable. It shouldn't be that um, you know I'm I'm talking about these issues uh, and it's not sort of uh, democratic or it's not approachable for a huge uh, bunch of people. It's like, um, you know, how it's looked at as, say, art house or it's a far off uh, intellectual uh, thing. It, uh, it I feel like the success of uh, the, for me, the film Avasavyom and uh, of this film is that it's not that. It's um, also a fun film to watch. And so you are going to be thinking about the things that the film has to say, but you're not, um, you know, it, it isn't uh, unapproachable. It's uh, it, you you can consume it and have fun while you think about these things. Right. So uh, as you said, Krishan is a critically acclaimed director and he has done a film that has won state award. So how is it to enter his world of cinema and his ideologies? Um, hmm. What kind of was it working in this film? It was absolutely lovely working with him. He's uh, somebody who it, it's uh, his ideas are very wacky. His uh, it's not it's very fresh. It's something that you haven't um, heard or like you haven't be you haven't you know this narrative uh, is not familiar. Uh, so for me, it's I love uh, you know people who are just sort of pushing the horizon or trying new things and uh, breaking these rules that have been set. Um, where even with the the language of the film, if you see like um, the, from the teaser or like uh, you see uh, you you see these movements that are slightly choreographed, like you're seeing these all of them move like here and like that, looking at this body on in the water, and uh, like those that's a language that has followed through in the film. And for me, when you're when when I was doing some of those things, you don't you don't fully understand it. But I knew that he has some idea up his sleeve that I would love to help execute. Uh, so it was, I, I think it was, a, for me, it was a very uh, easy process to just go and submit and use me, like do what you want. <laughs> I'm here as an actor to uh, execute your, your ideas that are I am not going to understand until I watch the film. But I was okay with that. I was fully trusting of this director and his team to just uh, be available to him uh, in, in a way that he would. And that's what he's done. I think it's for him, I, I, all of these are like, 
these are actors um, it's beyond all of that like i think he the, everything was was tools to uh, implement this idea that he had and i love that like it's not like i could predict where the scene was going to go i couldn't predict how the shots were going to be planned uh, i couldn't understand like the shots that were like i i don't look at the monitor a lot but sometimes when you see something you're just like okay where's half of my face you know like um, that makes it, it's so great because you you're not used to something like that so it's a very fresh um, uh you know way of uh working a uh, very nice uh, you know there was this really nice energy of sometimes when we when we do a play there's this energy of like it's very limited resources or limited um people but uh, all of these people are in it fully to make it happen and i think that's something i uh, i saw in this film like in this film we had all of the ads are also actors in the film they're all policemen in the film uh, and i like i was i was so amazed at how these guys um would do these things because you know when they're in a scene with me you know this one of the ads is say doing a scene with me but they also have to they're all in the scene so they also have to tell uh you know like uh, so and so has to pass or you know you have to give cues or do multiple things in the scene you know as ads and they'd make it happen i don't know how but i would see them say okay uh, you know go tell this auntie that you know when i tap my foot just go okay just pass from here to here so he is going to be doing the scene with me and i can see him tapping his foot so that's the kind of energy there was on this set like there was a uh, everyone was pushing everyone was excitedly trying to do everything they can to make the film happen and uh, that's an energy i really like to work around lovely lovely so um i was one of your interviews um in that you said how after watching jay jay he lot of women uh, in the theaters they came they hugged you and you know they shouted yeah. so much so um at this point what do you feel like that love and that appreciation where has it taken you what sort of responsibility do you feel now <laughs> honestly speaking i feel like it's uh, uh all of that affection is for jaya like it's for the character uh it is uh the minute i'm going to like play questionable characters which i want to do i want to not play uh you know perfect women and i, I the minute i play those uh these are things that will go off and uh, i'm not going to attach myself to um uh, that love really i would i'm really happy that that happened i'm really happy that i got to play a character which uh, all of these people were referring to me as jaya or you know like It, uh, it for them it was this person or they felt seen through her and that's the love i got it's not to do, do with me and i'm okay to keep that a little separately and uh, you know tomorrow if i'm going to play a a, a, a wrong woman uh, which i would love to do um, i'm not going to get that love or they're going to be like oh what is this girl doing you know <laughs> so uh, it's okay like i think as an actor i'm uh, i i would like to do all kinds of Uh, characters and all kinds of um, um it's great to uh, you know just have different kinds of people uh, connecting with you or uh, different kinds of people connecting with different kinds of characters or finding things that uh, they love and for me jaya was such a lovely experience purely out of all the, the women and the interactions i've had with women uh, through you know through like theater visits or uh, when i'd go into colleges and these are things i've never done for another film um and it was uh, it was something else to uh, be part of that or you know have conversations about the film after even with men uh, after the film uh, so yeah i i i i'm uh, how i take it or where i see it going i don't know i feel like i'm going to um as much as it's very exciting and i want to take all of it i will but it's all also going to be taken with that um uh, you know that it can go it's fleeting it's not uh, permanent at all and it's something that uh, i can't uh, i can't tie myself to that i'm going to just keep focusing on doing work that i like and hopefully it will find different kinds of people that will like the work that's that's all i can do <laughs> yeah like right. as you said um um jay that all that love is for jay so yeah. um See your filmography, especially. Um, I just went back and saw introduction sh- scenes of your films, and mm. be it Janat or a Jaya, but in the moment you enter the scene, it's just Jaya there or Janat there. We don't see a Darshna playing a Jaya. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. I feel effortlessly gliding to the skin. But how is it for you to get into the 
skin of the character and come out of it what what sort of a process is it for you? that's great to hear i mean i think that's the goal uh, that sort of where i'm looking at uh, heading in terms of uh, these are things i'd like to be able to distinguish all of these human beings because they're all very different janat jaya susan that i'm playing in this film they're all extremely different human beings and um, I, I, at the end of the day i'm playing it and like there's one thing that's common and it's bound to play up somewhere but i guess uh, if i'm able to keep them separate if i'm able to uh, like uh, make them feel like different people uh, it's great that's the i mean that's the success, success of uh, you know not just it's not just mine to take it's because they are written so clearly uh, there it's because that you know a director is making making sure that i don't feel like this other character you know it's all of these things coming together uh, it's the makeup it's the uh um, you know hair or and these are the externals in in fact for me are, are very sim- very sort of minimal like it's not like there's that much of a difference um that i have played with in terms of the look uh, externally right like most of the, the, the these characters have the curly hair that i do um they you know it's probably in minute things like how i take a partition or uh, how i you know tie it up or how um, maybe it's a, a sari versus a address uh, you know it's in very minute things but these are things that are obviously aiding uh, me for me it's all very thought based like it's all uh, it's all i know that she thinks like this and i know she thinks like this like you know uh, and how i separate those and i feel like sometimes it's too minimal for me also to notice when i'm doing it but in that environment when you watch it from the outside i've worked with people who are so good that they're able to make it like that so i don't know how i work towards uh, uh, making those you know uh, making an effort towards making it so different it's mostly in my head i think um so yeah comes in with organically is what you trying to not uh, it comes uh, i mean like i don't uh, i mean like i would love to try sort of you know different physicalities or like the way these these people walk or the speed at which they walk and you know these are things when you're doing theater you have you get a character to play and you play it for so many days before you're on stage and you're able to sort of very organically find uh, ways or a gesture that repeats and um in in theater i've found it a lot more you know you're working with a bunch of people someone from the outside is helping you build it and um a team that's building this character together with film it's more quick right you're just you've signed into this project you the first time you're getting to play this character is the first time you're shooting in front of the camera so it's a lot more difficult uh, you know but like if you look at some of the greatest actors they they do such such they just don't even look anywhere close or they don't feel like the same people at all um I, i i don't think i'm anywhere there and i would love to get there like i would love to learn how to do more of that so yeah i'm in that process i guess <laughs> so and coming back to susan um how is susan different from I, i'm i'm uh, of course all of your characters are very different so um how do you see susan's character and why do you think this film is very important for you at this point in your career um susan is very different from me and like uh, it was i don't want to talk too much about the character because i think uh, there is a lot for you to uh, you know it's something i feel like it's something i should i can happily talk about with you once you've seen the film uh, but uh, right now all i i knew is that she's different from me but there are also things i can find that i connect to like the uh, you know like sh- the whole film is about this uh, uh, is is following sebastian who's playing by prashant atn and he's a like a super he's called super sebastian because every all the he's a cop that everyone likes uh, it's just like uh, in awe of and everyone's he's like the oh my god he's so cool uh, that's the, the until a uh, 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 sort of unidentified body goes missing under his you know his sort of um in his uh, jurisdiction and it's uh, after that everything he's doing is questionable everything like he's not that much of a super cop <laughs> like every, it's all like under uh, and susan uh, susan uh, her she's in, on the lookout for her husband's body and that's how these two come to the same world and these two so uh, with her there was uh, like 
I think with most, whether it's Susan or Jaya, they they do things that I I don't understand. I'm like, when I was playing Jaya, it was just why is she not saying anything or why is she not doing anything that she, like because I come from a world where I can say that I have the agency to do that. But uh, I didn't get to do that. So I have to hold together and find another way to, you know, uh, do something or like, so uh, even with Susan, like the choices that I make and she makes is going to be very different. But um, it, that's the fun, I guess. That's where, uh, so it was very easy for me to, um, I speak very little in the film, uh, but there's a lot happening and it's it's very layered uh, character. Like you're, um, both the female characters for me in the film, there's one, uh, Su Sujata, that's being played by Devaki and my character. And they're, they're, they're both, uh, uh, you know, they're not, we don't have anything together, but you see both of these characters and you're, you're thinking about a lot of things, like, you know, how with uh, the women from different uh, sections of society and how we're looking at sort of... Um, morality for one versus morality for the other and how you ju you're judging both of these women very differently there's a, there's a very interesting it's not these are not loud tracks that are really playing but um i feel like this is a film where each time you watch you might get something else um and uh, i'm hoping that this is going to be that film that people will watch multiple times because um it, it, it's even for me when i read the script versus when i did the film versus when i watched the film yesterday that i got many new uh, narratives that I wasn't aware was playing and that's uh, uh those are the films I'd like I think I'm very happy to be part of because these are films I enjoy watching right so um your recently released film Turumugam is running in the theaters um yeah. you had great things about it in social media um yeah. so how was it you, you you even mentioned about you know uh prepping for the character doing the makeup and going on sets and working how was that experience it was uh, absolutely wonderful. It's I think for Toromugam, it was it was a journey that we've April two thousand nineteen is when we started, and that's a time where uh, you know so much has changed for all of us, for the world, for cinema, and like from there to it, you know, sort of materializing us watching the film in the theater together. It was. It's a journey that I I won't be able to. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it because it's one of those films that is a lot more than just a film. Um, it's history and it's uh, it's uh, uh, something that we all should watch. Uh, you know, it's you know, I I I I think I was getting a little troubled by these. Uh, sort of radars that you know now with ratings or with uh, you know I feel like this is a little more than all of that obviously all of that that's a system and it has has to happen that way but this film for me is bigger than all of that um, it's a it's it's a documentation right it's of something that we've all forgotten uh, you know these are events that happened a few years like you know, it's not that far away, but we had no clue about, like, I had no idea that, in, I had no idea about any of these events or that part of history when I got into the film. And the fact that that's being, that's there today for years to come, people are going to know this. And that's, I think that's the intention of the film. Obviously, along with that comes, we need to make it sustainable. We need to make the money. We All of that is, of course, there. And, you know, um, uh, like it's a film at the end of the day, all of that. But I do think that it's much bigger than all of that. And I had uh, such a great time being part of that world. It was not, um, you know, it was... Um, it, it it required a lot from all of us and we uh, I know that we all went in with all our heart so um, yeah I'm very very grateful that that film happened for me. So you've been a part of films like big canvas films like Turamugam, uh, commercially success, successful big film like Hridayam and experimental films like See You Soon and small uh, medium scale films like Jai Jai He and a lot more. So how do you sort of you know um, design your filmography or a career where do you see yourself going forward I actually don't do a you know outside way of I want this to go this way these are the things I want to do or I'm I, you know I did this so let me do that I don't do that honestly I'm very uh, uh, it's fairly simple I listen to a script and I see if I want to like if it connects with me I see I, I, if it's a, uh, you know, if it's a group of people I want to work with, is it a character I want to 
I am excited about. Like sometimes you read a script and you just, I want to start working on this film right away. And I uh, sometimes I make tough choices of saying no because not some of these don't meet. Like I have a, a great team and a great uh, uh, character, but something doesn't connect or something doesn't feel right, and uh, it it it's, it almost feels like it's stupid to say no to it. But I do that. I just say no because something in me says don't do it and uh, i don't i don't uh, I, i don't regret it once i've said no i'm i mean like some of the films that are coming to me are um, you know like say okay this is definitely going to be a big hit or you know successful film whatever for me it's purely am i going to have a good time um, doing this film uh, you know a film it takes like two months of your life working on it it has to be a good experience right it has to be a Uh, you have to take something from it uh, is it going to be fruit it doesn't make sense to me uh, that's that's mostly my choice so uh, i've just been very fortunate that you know that sort of it, it it's from the outside it looks like um, you know that it's all very carefully planned it's like this uh, there's this these films coming on screen these films coming on ott and this is the one one is a very commercial film one is a completely unconventional like um, you know crazy indie space film you know so it's great that that's my sort of portfolio right now but it's not like i plan it's purely going by where my heart connects where my heart feels like i'd like to follow and i've just been going by that like i've i i have um uh, you know i think it's about finding that comfort for to say no to things that might be the right choice but don't feel right to me um uh, you know there are expectations right like when you do a commercial film like to them uh, you you're expected to be part of more hits or you're expected to even for say a film like um purusha prayam i do they came to me expecting me to say no uh, so they were a little shocked when i said i'd like to do it and i was shocked that they they were shocked because i was just like it's such an exciting film it's such an ex- exciting character why wouldn't i do it so i feel like i've gone i've not i've kept my own rules to go by this uh, you know like there are industry expectations or industry things that you sh- you think you should do this is something you should be doing i have not gone by a lot of that and uh, i don't know if that's a good thing or not for now i'm happy like i think that's all i'm looking at doing like i'd like to go to work happily and um, uh, i'm looking at it as one part of my whole life uh, it's you know it's not this is not all it is and i would like to do something i found by chance i'd like to do it as happily as i can so that's purely my way of going about picking things and you know it's not very curated it's purely yeah i get a new script and this is how i think so yeah <laughs> and theater and music how has it influenced you as an artist uh everything i learned about acting or everything i've explored uh, about uh, acting is through theater so uh, it's shaped me it's like i had nothing to do with acting before so it like i think i've found a lot from theater and acting and everything uh traces back definitely to theater uh and it it sort of uh, all the work that i'm doing today is also going back to things i've tried or explored or you know the confidence of even calling myself an actor came from a few years of doing it uh you know doing theater and um so uh, it definitely influences me every day with music as well like it's the first form of uh art that i'm engaging in from when i was a child um, i had nothing to do with theater or acting or drama or none of that in school i very little you know not not really i wouldn't say i wouldn't call any of that like really engaging but with music i think uh, over the years like with uh, i was part of a you know like i was in lady shri ram college for my undergrad and um, music societies are a big deal there so i was part of like the indian music society and the western music society there so uh i think all forms of like how uh, you know like lsr uh the sort of looks at art and the rigor that you require to you know put out work or like to make sure that uh, like before how much it takes for um, sort of a, um i've always been in those environments and that's definitely influenced me like how i how lsr used to you know we we had rehearsals every day after college so four onwards is rehearsal and that's just for everyone else it's like let's make this let's do that and for me it was just standard in college after four i have rehearsal that's it like there's nothing else and 
uh, that sort of commitment to art or that sort of uh, rigor is something I learned from you know being in those places or uh, my mother used to be a dance teacher so we grew up seeing uh, you know her running this dance school and uh, all, like I've always seen what it requires so I, I was not practicing art or like maybe music yes little bit but like say although as an actor I haven't been like but all of this has shaped how I do my work today. Lovely and um, so there's this trend in the recent times where um, artists from one industry jump to the other to sort of establish uh, their career there uh, probably get get to do bigger films there and you know get more limelight uh, you you have done a few films uh, in different languages say Tamil or a web series in Hindi so how do you see the trend and uh, do you see yourself uh, you know doing some, something of that sort um, trying again going back to different um, languages and trying films there yeah, uh, I mean, for me, um, I'm very happy doing films in Malayalam. Like, I'm happiest here. But as an actor, I'm capable of doing things in other languages. It's These are things that are part of my, say, skill set, right? If I learn the languages, if I'm better at it, these are things I can do. And just purely by that, I would like to broaden the horizons a little. I would like to try new things. I would uh, like to uh, be part of, lang you know, like, uh, I can't speak in Hindi. I can't speak in Tamil. Like, I can manage in a few of these languages. And, like... Uh, it will require com a completely different side of me as an actor to go work in industries because they'll be comp it's uh, the language is uh, different not just language language of the films or um, the way the films uh, you know the acting in those films maybe are different so I would definitely like to explore more of it and from say films like Hridayam and uh, Jayahe which have been watched across industries or like across states um, like there is a scope for that. Like there are people who are interested in, you know, uh, sort of casting me in these places. And I'm I'm just doing sort of the same. I'm being very careful. Like I'm just being doing the same sort of um, process as I pick here. Like I just anything that calls out to me fully, I will do it. Yeah, uh, that's 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 been lovely talking to you, Darshana. Very nice Best talking to you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you.